All right, welcome to this week's Sunday Morning Coffee and Games. We haven't done this in a little while, so I'm excited to kind of jump back into it. Um, we're going to be playing War Machine today. I don't play a lot of War Machine. I'm not great with War Machine, but it is someone that's been kind of requested uh, now and again uh, from different chats over on Discord or other places, uh, which, by the way, if you haven't joined Discord, make sure you do that. Link's down below. So I'm going to be playing basically a... A very basic idea of a shield deck. It's actually a 43 card deck. Um, you can trim this and pair this however you want. I'm just playing it with most of the shield cards that are out there. Pretty much all of them in Justice and, and Basic. Uh, but this is a shield deck. A lot of people wonder about shield decks and how they work. What what like how the synergy like kind of overlaps and whatnot. Um, so yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing is, is going through it. Um, we'll go down the table. We'll talk a bit about the strategy. And then we're going to be playing against Un Unis. Uh, since I, I don't mind the villain, I think it could be fun. And we're going to play through the game, see if we win. Maybe we will, or maybe we won't. But just so you know, that the the basic premise of the of the shield deck will be shown here. Uh, the rough idea. And you can pretty much play shield with almost anyone, I think, or... Yeah, I think it's pretty close to pretty much anyone in the game could be a shield hero. Uh, it's really good for Hulk as well, for those that don't know. So anyway, we'll pop down the table, talk a bit about the cards. There's also a link down in the description if you rather like see the deck written out, if that's easier for you. All right, here are all the cards laid out for you. We'll talk a little bit about it. Um, and kind of the, the rough strategy we'll have. It may not be the actual strategy now, which you, we use. We'll also kind of zoom in on parts of the table uh, when we actually play the game, or at least try to, if I remember. Uh, but anyway, so we have we have our War Machine hero. Uh, so James Rhodes is a shield soldier. So if we need anything with shield, that's going to be kind of how we get it. Uh, you have an action, which, by the way, this is eroded. You can choose a War Machine card in your discard pile and shuffle into your deck. You can only do this once. And after you change this form, discard each ammo counter from your identity. His hero size is only a 1-2-2 two, two stat line. And after you change this form, place 5 ammo counters. So basically, my biggest gripe with him has always been that his cards kind of use these ammo counters and they're not the easiest to get. So you're going to want to flip down a ton in order to get them to pull cards like full auto that uses four out of five of the counters we'll also want to get cards like gauntlet gun out there which will allow us to generate a wild resource um there we go wild resource for a war machine event and place one ammo counter on him but other than that we're going to kind of need to flip down and flip back up there's different things you could do with munitions bunker where you can exhaust the place two counters here and then as a hero action you can move them onto a war machine um scorch earth not a strong attack cart target strikes can be your threat removal war machine is interesting the way it works uh shoulder cannon's a pretty good card right exhaust it to deal one damage and you can ready it up by um doing a uh um, an ammo counter, and then what's the other one? A missile launcher is the other interesting one. Uh, exhaust missile launcher, remove one ammo counter, deal two damage to the enemy. It's ranged if there's any retaliation and stuff. So it's a pretty interesting deck that he has. It can just get a little expensive with balancing between, um, you know, the cost and the ammo cost as well. So, all right, let's dive into the actual cards. We'll start with allies and then move around. So our first ally is Mockingbird, um, shield ally, 3113 stat line. It's going to stun our enemies, which is great. Nick Fury is a, a steady card, also shield. We're doing that for card draw. Agent 13 is great. After Agent 13 attacks or thwarts, choose a shield support and ready that support. It's going to team um, with Sky Destroyer, hopefully. I mean, it could work with Government Liaison or Surveillance Team or Field Agent. Uh, but that's probably what we're going to use it for is Sky Destroyer, which we'll get into later. And then Dumb, Doom Doom, sorry, not Dumb Dumb. Doom Doom is interesting card. Um, you can exhaust cards so that he does not take as much, um, or he gets plus one for the power, sorry. When you use one of his basic powers, exhaust up to three shield cards. For each card exhaust this way, Doom Doom gets plus one to that attack to use, which could be interesting if he could swing a ton. It is a very expensive card, so we'll see how that works. We also have Shield Justice Allies, Quake, who's going to come in and possibly deal damage to a minion. Monica works well with Surveillance Team, and we'll get into that, which could be really, really strong and good. Agent Coulson, we don't have any prep cards as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, we don't have any prep cards. So that part's useless, but again, he's a shield card. That's kind of what we're just leaning into with him is his his shield thing. All right, as far as events go, we're running three global logistics. Exhaust one shield card you control. Look at the top four cards of a player deck or the encounter deck. Discard any number of those cards and put the others um, on the top or bottom of the deck. This is a good way to get rid of bad cards that you don't want to deal with. It also is a shield card. So when you play a shield card, Sky Destroyer, uh, Sky Destroyer can trigger. It can make things a little bit easier. But anyway. 
Good card for just kind of like throwing away cards too. Um, okay, so the Homeland Intervention exhausted the three shield cards you control. Remove two threat from the scheme for each card exhaust this way. Again, it's going to be a lot of threat removal as long as we have our shield cards out there. Helicarrier, hopefully most of you know Helicarrier by now, but choose a player, reduce the resource cost of the next card by one. It's a shield card. We have Endurance, so we can get a little more life. Uh, Rhodes does start with 10, uh, but getting up to 13 would be really nice. All right, as far as our supports, we have two field agents. They use backup counters, which I think I have somewhere. Uh, when a shield ally would take any amount of consequential damage, exhaust field agent and remove one backup counter and prevent one of it from it. So it could be good for keeping, you know, Agent 13 or Mockingbird or Quake or Monica around just for like a bit longer. Or Doom Doom, I guess. Three surveillance teams, two cost support. Uh, it comes with Snoop Counters, is what we're talking about with Monica. This pairs really well. So exhaust this and remove one Snoop Counter from it, remove one threat from a scheme. We can have three of these in play, or two of these in play with three counters on them. Monica could come in and place this third one down and put four basically on everything, or put, get it up to four, I should say, which is uh, pretty impressive in the way that she works and how she works with those counters. Um, so yeah, that can be fun. Sky Destroyer is a big one. Sky Destroyer is a three cost support. After you play a shield card, exhaust Sky Destroyer, deal two damage to enemy is absolutely massive. Crew Quarters, if we go to Alter Ego, I don't want to exhaust too much. So this is going to hopefully heal us because our three recovery is not that great. And then Government Liaison is going to help us pay for these shield cards. Also, when we need to exhaust shield cards, we could do a Government Liaison. Uh, but you exhaust Government Liaison, play a shield card from your hand, reducing its resource cost by one. Again, it's going to help us just lower the cost of the cards hopefully a little um and then again if we need to exhaust certain cards to trigger certain things we can do that and then we have our doubles i don't think we mentioned them but this is a rough idea again you can tailor this to however you want uh, if you want to change things around so anyway let us set up unis and then jump into this game all right so welcome to the table uh hopefully everything looks all right and you can see everything pretty good i'm just gonna be shuffling through this deck um so i'll zoom in up here Reveal the gene uh, side scheme, right? You can hopefully see that somewhat well. Uh, reveal the gene side scheme. Um, in expert mode, you would deal a face down encounter card. We're not going to do that, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, gene pool, sorry. Gene pool has four on it. It's a permanent setup. After an ally is defeated by anything other than consequential damage, you place three threat here, so we may have to deal with that. We will see. Uh, Unis comes in with a tough before we forget. And then... He will start off with Retaliate 1. So we'll put a Retaliate on there. The reason being is because there's three, at least three threat onto here. Um, so that's what we have uh, kind of going on there. And then we'll have his health dial over here um, set up. So that is his deck. I'll just finish shuffling this up so you can all see it. And then War Machine we have in our bottom corner here. Uh, again, we're just kind of playing through the shield strategy. Hopefully it works out. Sorry, there's a little bit of glare on the card down here. Just can't get any of these lights right anymore. Um, but yeah, so we have our, our health health dial and whatnot. And the cards might be slightly off the screen. We'll put them like just barely on because just don't want to take up too much space. So, all right. Last thing we have to do is flip over that main scheme and then we are good to go. And we will see, uh, we will see how this goes. Hopefully, okay. Flip this over, starts over with zero. And then after resolving step one, the villain phase will place one threat onto the gene pool. So we'll have to remember that. And we'll go through it nice and slow and try to remember the best we can. So. First thing we got to do is get our six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So I'll try to slow this down, explain kind of what I'm thinking, what I'm doing. Um, all right. So obviously, anytime I see a double. It's probably, probably a good start. Uh, Repulsion Beam isn't bad, but I don't, we really don't have to worry about doing damage yet. I want to build out a little, so I'm not, that's not high up there yet. Doom Doom is the same exact thing. I don't, he's very expensive for right now. We don't have a lot of resource resources or ways to uh, pay for him cheaper, so I'm not really worried about that. Missile Launcher I do like, right? So you exhaust Missile Launcher, remove one ammo counter from War Machine, yield two damage to enemy, it gains range. Uh, we will have Retaliate, right, um, on Unis that's up here. So this could be a good way to get around that. Upgrade Chassis could be nice because after you change the hero form, you can exhaust this card to give him a tough status that could be really strong. And that's a maybe for right now. And then Surveillance Team is going to give us our Snoop Counters. It's going to help us um, lower the... the cost i guess of things um or, or i'm sorry lower the threat on like gene pool or hunting gene traders or whatever well i do like this we have three of them and i'd rather mulligan harder for other things repulsor um the, the resource generator card is kind of one of the big ones i'm looking for here 
with a gauntlet gun, right? Also shoulder cannon would be really nice. So what I'm thinking is we're getting rid of these three, right? So we can use a double and one other card that we draw to pay for this. And then we're going to be drawing two other cards. So one of them could be done for this. And then we have one left over, which puts us in kind of an awkward spot. But maybe we can figure it out from there. So let's throw away these three cards. I'm going to hold on to these because getting the tough might be really nice. And we'll draw one. The other surveillance team, targeted strike, and scorched earth, which is more damage stuff. I'd rather have gotten something else, but it's not the worst thing in the world to happen. So also munitions bunker would have been really nice right now. But all right, so we could choose a war machine card or discard pile and shuffle it into our deck. We might as well. Uh, take the repulsor beam and shuffle it back in. Doesn't hurt, right? So put that in, shuffle that back up. Also, I just realized I had Rhodes start with 12 health. That is not how much health he starts with. He starts with 10. That's why you double check your setup every single time. One of these times I'll remember to. So, all right, before we flip up, right, we do have upgrade chassis. And with upgrade chassis, we would gain aerial trait, but I don't have really much built toward that. But after you change, you can give War Machine a tough status. So we're going to want to play that. So we'll use a double and surveillance team. And we'll throw them away. Pay for the three to get this upgrade. Um, all right. So it does come in with a ready token on it. Um, all right. Cool. And then we will flip up now. So now we're on War Machine. After we change this form, place five ammo counters on War Machine. So we'll put our two, our four. And our five. All right. Hopefully you can see them all right up there. So we have our five ammo counters there. And then I'm going to throw away Scorched Earth because we really don't need that to get Missile Launcher in. We'll see how much we use this. I don't, I don't really know yet, to be honest. But, oh, I'm sorry. Duh. We flipped up and we talked about upgraded chassis. So exhaust upgraded chassis, give War Machine a tough status. We do this after you change the hero form. Completely forgot that was like the whole plan of that. <laughs> oh, well. Targeted strike, let me think about for a second. All right, so if we thwart one, we can get gene pulled down and start working on that, which, I don't know, doesn't seem too efficient. All right, I'm going to attack for two to take off this tough. Really, I want to take off the tough, but I'm going to get hit with retaliate for one, so I'm down to nine life. Um, which I think will be fine. I'm not too worried about that. So we'll use Missile Launcher, Exhaust Missile Launcher, remove one ammo counter from uh, War Machine, deal two damage, this attack gains range, so he goes from 12 down to 10 life. Um, again, we get around Retaliate because of Missile Launcher. Targeted Strike, I actually think I might hold on to, because removing Threat might be huge in a little bit. Oh, shoot, we got Retaliate, so it actually bumps our tough off. No, no, backtrack backtrack sorry backtrack we're gonna put the two on we're gonna thwart one instead and this is just gonna take off the tough with missile launcher so we never get retaliated and because we never got retaliated we don't lose our tough um so instead all right we thwarted one got gene pulled down to three missile launcher just went straight into his tough that he had hopefully that makes sense sorry about that okay now let's ready up and draw uh, card. So we're still holding on to target strike. We're going to draw four more. Gauntlet gun, which could be really good. Government liaison, which is pretty good. Uh, Quake, which is okay. And Asia 13, which is probably going to be too expensive for what we need right now, unfortunately. So, all right, we have our cards. Now we're going to go up to Unis. Now, first we place one threat here. And then after resolving step one of the villain phase, place one threat onto Gene Pool. This is why I wanted to keep his thwart threat removal cards because gene pool i want to i want to get down quite a bit all right unis is going to attack um so he's going to swing for two we have tough so we're going to let him swing right into it so into us so it's gonna be two attach this card to an infinite minion um there is no infinite minion out there so this card doesn't do anything hold on maybe that will focus there we go uh so genetic experiments um just as attached this card to infinite minion, there is none. So we just take the two damage, but again, we are tough. So it just runs into a tough. I don't have to worry about anything. All right, bad card is uh, targeted for extermination. All right, this does have a when defeated. Um, the player who defeated this enemy confuses our identity, which stinks. It is going to have a crisis icon, so we cannot remove threat from the main scheme at all. And it comes in with three. And luckily, we kept a uh, card to remove three threats, so that should be good. All right, so that's what he's got going on. We're pretty much set up, ready to go. Let's do this. So, 
The first thing I want to do is get Gauntlet Gun. So I'm going to throw away Quake and Agent 13 to pay for Gauntlet Gun. Gauntlet Gun is going to help us out in the long run, so I am excited for that. Um, okay, so that comes in with a ready token. So now we can exhaust Gauntlet Gun to generate a wild resource for a War Machine event and place one ammo counter on War Machine. So we can place our ammo counter on, generate a wild resource for a War Machine event, which we have with Targeted Strike. Targeted Strike states remove one ammo counter from War Machine. Well, luckily we just got one, so we're back down to four. And remove three threat from a scheme. All right, so we're going to remove three threat from targeted for elimination, which is now going to have a when defeated on it. The player who defeated this scheme confuses their identity. Man, my camera does not want to focus today, so that's a, that's a great sign. All right, so we will be confused. And honestly, what I think we're going to do is just uh, exhaust to remove the confusion. Because I don't want to deal with that, right? And then we could still get around the retaliate with missile launcher. So we'll lower our counter from four to three. Deal two damage. It actually does the damage this time. And we don't get retaliate because the attack gains range. So now he is down to 10. Um, and then government liaison we'll throw away for now. See if we get something better. And then let's ready up. And then draw five cards. One, two, three, four, five. See what we get. Agent Coulson. Uh, shoulder cannon, a double, mockingbird, and full auto. Oh boy. Okay. I don't think it's gonna work great. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll have to see where if any minions come out because full auto might take precedent. Uh, then shoulder cannon would be really nice to get out there, but I don't know if it's gonna make sense yet. So we'll have to see. So we'll have to see if we get minions. Then the full auto makes more sense for the overkill and whatnot. All right. So one goes on to here. One more goes on the gene pool. This is from the force response up there. Unis is going to attack us. Um, we're gonna take this hit because I might actually be flipping down somewhat soon. Maybe. Hopefully. I don't know. All right. Two attack three attacks so now we're down to seven life now we are going to get our bad card see what it is minion now well attached to unis after unis schemes give him a tough status card so he responds after you make a basic attack against unis spend a mental and a fist to discard this card um i don't like that he's gonna get tough so i have to figure out do we have a mental and a fist we we would and then we could place Mockingbird out there to actually stun him, which might be worth it. We would get rid of Shoulder Cannon, which kind of stinks. But I don't think it's the worst thing. I'm actually liking that idea. All right, so let's make a basic attack against Unis, right? So it's going to deal two damage, brings him down to eight. Uh, it is going to retaliate us because it was retaliate, which does stink. But after you make a basic attack against Unis, spend a mental and a fist. We'll do that to discard this card because we do want to go down soon. And I don't want him to be getting tough constantly. That's not, it's not going to probably work out great for us. All right, I'm going to play Mockingbird. I'm going to use a double and a shoulder cannon as uh, resources. After Mockingbird enters play, stun an enemy. So we are going to stun Unis. Uh, so this will help us out because he's not going to be able to activate. All right, we have three ammo counters left, so we might as well start using them as well. So we're going to use a uh, missile launcher to deal two damage to Unis. Brings him down to six life. Again, it's ranged, so the retaliate doesn't affect us. And then Mockingbird's going to thwart one off of Gene Pool. I want to keep that in check. Hunting Gene Traders, I'm not too worried about yet, so I think we're okay there. Um, and then we will ready up. So let's draw our five cards. One, two, three, four, five. Um, yeah, I think I did everything right, right? I just want to double check. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I always get worried I draw six on the accident. I don't know why. It's like a weird thing I panic about. <laughs> anyway, so we have Monica Chang, which could be useful. Full auto, which I don't think is going to be useful anymore because we don't have the counters. Field agent. Yeah. Helicarrier could be good, and surveillance team could be good. Um, unfortunately, it's probably going to have to be Monica Chang getting in there, which I actually like. Um, it gets the Snoop counter method going. We don't have enough resources really to pay for two. So this is like the weird part of War Machine is that a lot of his resource economy is based towards his events. So kind of, it can be a little tough. One goes on the here. One goes on the here. Now, Unis is stunned. So he just clears the stun, and then we're going to get our bad card, which is actually we're going to focus back out because the camera needs to focus. Uh, the villain schemes. Okay. So he's going to scheme for one. 
Place two threat and gene pool. Oh, geez. This is getting a little aggressive. I don't love it, but he does only scheme for one onto there. Now, two, four, six, seven. So now he gains stalwart. Once I find the token, I can put it on. <laughs> um, unfortunately, I don't love that he's going to get stalwart. Um, here we go. Luckily, we just did get rid of the confusion there. So that's that's at least um, a little bit nice. I do want to work on getting that down, which is why we might get Monica Chang out there, which surveillance team might be the way to go. Yeah, I think that's I think that's gonna be the way to go. So let's dump three card. Yeah, three cards to play Monica. After Monica Chang enters play, search your deck, hand, and discard pile for a copy of surveillance team support and put it into play. I'm actually gonna get the one. Uh, we'll just get one from from there. Put in the play. It comes in with three, but it gets a fourth one because Monica states place one Snoop counter on each surveillance team you control. So we get our four Snoop counters there. Field agent, I'm not even going to worry about right now. All right. So we need to get this down. I want to get that. There's so much we need to get down. Um, if they take a block, three threats can be put on, which is kind of rough. I don't want to deal with that. So let us first, uh, we might as well use missile launcher ammo counter. We have one ammo left. We deal two more damage. Again, getting around the retaliate. Monica is going to thwart one. Let's remove one from here with Monica. Let's have Mockingbird remove one from here. And let's have Surveillance Team use a Snoop counter. We'll remove one from there so we could work on that still. And then we are going to flip down. Um, choose a War Machine card in your discard pile and shuffle it back in your hand. I'm going to get the shoulder cannon, try to put that back in, because I think that's going to help us in the long run. And then we're going to recover three. So we will exhaust, recover three. We're back up to nine life. And then we will now ready up. All right, so everything's readied up. And then we get to draw six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. We also have to discard our ammo counter. We have one left, my bad. All right, so we got our gauntlet gun with a double. Homeland Intervention, which is going to be big for us because we can exhaust a lot of cards so that's good and government liaison can help us okay there's some there's some useful cards in here yeah we can get government liaison in that can help us a lot okay so we we this is a this is a pretty good hand for us i'm pretty happy with that all right so one goes on the here one goes on the here unis is going to scheme for one two three so this is up to six total so we'll do three, four, five, six. And then we get our bad card, which is uh, the soldier. Okay, so it comes up with guard. Now, it does come in with quick strike, but we're an alter ego, right? The reason being is because there's three threat on the scheme. Um, it also gets surge because there's two, four, six, seven on there, right? So he is going to come in with surge, which is unfortunate. And we'll see. Uh, this card gains surge because we are alter ego. Oh, boy. Um, okay, this is a bad card, but we're an alter ego, so it kind of helps us. So we do have to discard a card from our hand, which does stink. Um, but we can deal with that. We can deal with that for sure. We are going to... We're going to discard crew quarters from our hand to get rid of... Um, Hunted. I say haunted. This should be hunted. We get to shuffle a card back into our deck. I'm going to put targeted strike back in because we need some cards to remove some threat. Um, so hopefully that will help us. Okay. Now let us flip up. In doing so, we can uh, trigger upgraded chassis. Put a tough status back onto us. I'm going to use a double to play for our other gauntlet gun. We'll just stack them on top of each other because we know what the one says, right? So, um, All right, so we can use Homeland Intervention to exhaust up to three cards to remove two threat for each card exhaust as well. Um, what we're going to do is we will exhaust Surveillance Team, Monica, 
and Mockingbird. So choose up to three shield cards, right? They're each shield. And uh, remove two threat from that scheme for each card rem uh, removed this way. So we're going to do it off of um, this one. Two, four, six off of Gene Pool. So now what's fun is he no longer has Stalwart and he no longer has Retaliate. Right? So that's the idea to kind of keep that down. Um, we can't play another Homeland Intervention. Government Liaison. Those would both be nice, but it just doesn't work out. All right, we're going to do two damage onto the Soldier. And then, oh, we forgot to put the five ammo counters on before I forget. Because we are about to use one. We're going to use Missile Launcher, remove a counter, and just get rid of the Infinite Soldier, right? Do two damage to him. We don't want to deal with him. He's a pain. All right, I'm going to get rid of Homeland Intervention because I don't think we'll need it. No, I'm going to get rid of Government Liaison. I think actually Homeland Intervention will be nice. All right, so we'll ready up. And then we will draw uh, four cards. So we have one, two, three, four, five. All right, Scorched Earth is all nice and whatnot. The, the nicest thing, obviously, is targeted strike because that's going to allow us to remove threat from a scheme, um, keep things in check, which I may... Uh, and then we could do Repulsor Beam. Yeah, we have some options here. We actually have some decent options. So we're, we're, we're cruising along pretty well right now. All right, so one is going to go on to here. So this is three, four, five, six, seven. And Gene pulls up to two out of the three. Uh, Unis is going to attack us, but we do have our tough stats. So we're going to let him attack us. That's fine. So he's going to deal two damage, place two threat in Gene pool. All right, so now he has gained retaliate. All right, and does two damage to us, but that's okay because we have our tough. So we're going to get rid of that. All right, bad card is War Weary. Uh, you are stunned. So we do have to deal with that. Which we can just exhaust for that. That's fine. I'm not too worried about that. All right, let's actually do that right in the beginning. We're going to uh, clear out our stun. This is the one nice thing about most of your attacks being your events that are pretty reasonable to play is that you can just clear out your stun the old-fashioned way. So let us, we're going to do Homeland Intervention again. And we're going to exhaust um, one, two, three cards. Uh, so she, uh, he's also up to three shield cards, right? Mockingbird, uh, Monica, and Surveillance Team. Remove two threat from that scheme for each card exhaust that way. So it's going to be six. So we're going to take three, four, five, six off the main scheme. Just keep that in check. This is the nice thing about Shield, man. You can just wipe out huge amounts of cards right there. Next, I want to play Targeted Strike. We're going to use Gauntlet Gun. It's going to add an ammo counter here for this. And then we're going to spend it as well. So it just evens out. Remove three threat from a scheme. So gene pool is going to go down to one and there's no longer retaliate on here, which is nice. Now we are going to do repulsor blast. Again, we're going to use the other gauntlet gun. It generates a uh, resource for this. We gain a counter. We lose a counter. Deal four damage to enemy. That does get him down to zero on this stage. There shouldn't be a guard on here. Sorry. That was left over. So Next Unis it does come in. It comes in with toughness. We might as well zoom in on this so you all can see it. So it does come in with toughness. We'll deal with that in a little second. Uh, retaliate, stalwart, and bonus icon. That's all normal. And he comes in with 15 life. All right, cool. That is all set up. Oops, that's getting pushed around. All right, repulsor beam we already used, so we'll throw that other way. We are holding on to Scorch Earth and Iron Man still. Can't do too much with those. Um... We're going to get rid of both these cards. I don't think we need either of them right away. Um, we're not going to use Missile Launcher yet to remove the tough. We may have a different plan for that, so I don't want to do too much with that yet. Uh, there might be better better or more interesting options to, to be had. So one, two, three, four, five cards. We get our Shoulder Cannon. We get an Endurance. Uh, Sky Destroy, which would have been nice like a long time ago. Threat Removal and Global Logistics. Hmm. Sky Destroyer would be the nice card to play, right? So after we play a shield card, we get to deal two damage. Um, that would be nice. Yeah, I think that's where we're going to go and get rid of Shoulder Cannon. All right, we'll figure that out in a second. So one goes on the here, one goes on the here. Unis is going to attack us. Uh, we do have nine life, so I might as well just take the hit. I don't, I don't think we need to worry about too much. He's only got 15 life. So two, three, four, five. I spoke way too soon. That brings us down to four life. Oof, I might be flipping back down. All right, and then bad card is, all right, attached to an infinite minion. Uh, there is none, so this card gains Surge. It would help out the minion a ton, but 
Like I said, there is none. So next card is, hey, a minion. When revealed, deal three damage to an ally you control. Um, all right, we're going to get rid of Mockingbird. Now, they are destroyed. After an ally is defeated by anything other than consequential damage, place three threat here. In doing so, he now gains retaliation. That's a bad combo for us, but that's okay. That's okay. I do think we're going to have to flip back down, though. Okay. Let's do our three cards to play Sky Destroyer, right? Oops, let's go here. So, the fun thing with Sky Destroyer is after you play a shield card, exhaust Sky Destroyer to deal two damage to enemy. Sky Destroyer will trigger itself because it's a response. It's really weird in the way it works, but it does work. So, we'll deal two damage to the Infinite Hunter. Then, we will deal two damage and knock out the Infinite Hunter. Yeah, I think that's the best thing to do. All right, so I'm going to use a Missile Launcher. It does have range, but it's just going to go into his tough. We do want to get rid of that tough. We don't want to deal with that. And then let's use global logistics to exhaust Monica and shield or surveillance team. Sorry, to remove four threat from here. So three, four, keep that down. And then we will ready back up. Um, yeah, we'll ready back up. All right, draw our five cards. One, two, three, four, five. Um... Actually, yeah, that's fine. All right, government liaison, Nick Fury, global, global, and homeland intervention. Um, okay, there's some, there's some, definitely some options in there. We'll see how that goes. He does not have retaliate anymore. All right, so now we come back up here. One goes on the here, one goes on the here. Unis is going to attack us. So here's my thought process. I don't want to take the hit, obviously. Um, and Monica would put more in the gene pool, which I don't think I care about necessarily too much right now. So I think we might actually do that. So we're going to have Monica take this hit. So it's going to be two plus nothing. Ugh, we should have taken it. Oh, well, that's just how it works out sometimes. So three goes on to here. That is up to five, which gives him retaliate again. All right, bad card is... It would not be a D20 video without that. That is for sure. For sure. All right. Living laser comes in with quick strike. Deadly daylight comes in. And this shuffles up. When defeat, deal one damage to each identity. All right. So this has four. We can't remove threat off of here. And he's going to quick strike us for two. It has piercing. I'm just going to I'm just going to take the hit of two. Which brings us down to two life. All right. I was just going to go try for the win. I don't think that's going to work out as much as I want to anymore. Actually, maybe it will. Would I have two life? Do we have any big attack cards? I feel like we really don't anymore. I also feel like I'm pushing those up slowly. Um, all right. So obviously Nick Fury would be clutch right now to deal a lot of damage. We could draw our last three cards and flip down maybe. In doing so, he would trigger Sky Destroyer, which could be good. Ugh. All right, let's dump four of these cards for Nick Fury. Oh, that feels rough. All right, draw our three cards. One, two, three. We're going to get a bad card, and these shuffle up. So we got Repulsor Blast, Munitions Bunker, finally, and Field Agent. Uh, well, that's kind of interesting, actually. Do we have two life? I don't think we have enough to go for the win. No, no, we don't. All right, so that's shuffled up. So we will do Sky Destroyer. It's not an attack. It's dealing damage to Unis, so we might as well do that. It will not retaliate us, again, because you only retaliate on attack, not dealing damage. I am going to Repulsor Beam Living Laser and knock him out. All right, might as well get rid of him. So, again, generates a resource. Uh, we deal four damage. We lose a counter. We gain a counter kind of thing. So, we're, we're good there. Um, well, Munitions Bunker would be good. 
I'm not really worried about it. So we're going to play Field Agent. It's going to be a support in case we need to exhaust those type of cards. Okay. So I am going to... Deal one damage to each identity. We only have two life. Um, all right, let's missile launcher. Remove an ammo counter. Deal two damage to Unis. Brings him down to eleven. I'm going to thwart two off of deadly light show. I'm going to use a surveillance team token. To remove one off of here. And then I'm going to flip down. I don't think we worry about this too much yet. And then recover our three. So that brings us up to five. When we flip down, we can shuffle Repulsor Beam back in. Because of our action. It's going to be kind of a waste of Nick Fury. But at the same exact time, I don't want to like accidentally take damage. You know what I mean? So I'd rather play it a little bit safe. Hopefully, hunting gene traders doesn't go too crazy or anything. All right, let's ready up. All right, and then we're going to draw our six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. We also have clear ammo tokens before we forget. Logistics, Colson, double, full auto, which is massive, Mockingbird. And I guess we can full auto with two gauntlet guns, right? Um, yeah, maybe, maybe that's what we do. All right, we'll think about this in a second, but we have, we have some options there, which is nice. All right, so one goes here and then one goes on to here. Uh, Unis is going to scheme for two, choose to either place two threat in gene pool or he gets plus two, plus two for his activation. We'll place two threat in gene pool. Which is unfortunate, but so that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he does gain stalwart. Uh, so that was two onto here, right? We didn't do that yet, I'm pretty sure. So that's up to six. And then we have our two bad cards. Our first one is okay, soldier with guard. Of course it is. <laughs> now he comes in with quick strike. There's nothing quick strike, but he does gain surge, which is okay, another one. Which also surges. War weary. We're going to be stunned. Man, this is rough now. This is like not what we need. This is this is the one way Unis can kind of kind of go a little crazy on you. Uh, when you feel Unis activates against you. All right. So if there's a mana threat of three, he gains a tough status as well. So let's put that on before we forget. And heal three damage from Unis. So that brings him up to 14. Oof. All right. So he's going to activate for two... Plus nothing, thank goodness. All right, so what is it? Two, four, six, seven, eight would be the total. So let's put five, six, seven, eight on there out of the 11. And we lose Nick Fury. Man, that was a rough, a rough turn for us, that's for sure. All right, do we have a card to put back in? We do a munitions bunker. Um, I was going to heal, but unfortunately, we need to clear some stuff. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay. Um, whew. this went from bad to worse real fast. Let's see. What can we do? What can we do? So my original idea was the full auto and infinite soldier. But the problem is, is it's just going to run into a tough. And there's not a lot of sense of doing that right now. At least it doesn't make sense to me. We might hold on to it though. Maybe. All right. We need to flip up and get our five counters. Two, four, five. Use our chassis to get tough statuses on, which should help. <laughs> Um, sorry, we were going to clear our stun. I moved it, but we have to clear it. Let's use a double in a full auto to play Mockingbird. 
Let's stun. We can't stun the stalwart, so let's stun there. That's fine for now. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Um. Shield card comes in, so we'll do Sky Destroyer to deal two damage. Then we will use Global Logistics. Exhaust one shield card you control, so we'll exhaust field agent. Um, look at the top four cards. One, two, three, four. We could discard any amount of them. Um, all right, so let's see. Put them back in any order. All right, let's get rid of these two. He boosts with a zero. Um, actually, that doesn't matter because he's going to be going into a tough. So let's get rid of this. We'll get rid of this. And then this way, when we reveal discard upgrade you control, we can get rid of an upgrade. That's fine. We'll probably get rid of upgrade chassis or something because we don't really need that. All right. So then we'll do that. Oops. Um, Shield card. So I think we're good with everything. Yeah, we're good. All right. So we will do a surveillance team to remove one off of here in doing so. We deal one damn. Oh, wait, wait. I don't want to get my tough off. Never mind. So we'll deal one. No, we won't do that yet. We won't do that yet. Let's do missile launcher. Remove a counter from here just to take out one of these soldiers. So we don't have to worry about it. Um, oops. Um, we can't remove threat. Let's have Mockingbird deal damage here. I think that's it. And then we're going to dump two more cards. And we're going to try to hang on a little bit. That's really what the, the strategy is right now, unfortunately. So let's ready everything up. We're going to draw one, two, three, four, five. Hopefully we get some attacks. Targeted strike will move threat. Uh, full auto. Okay. Scorched earth. He has a tough though. I was like, that would be nice, but he's got tough. Full auto. We could probably do the gauntlet gun for both, right? And then put Agent 13 in. I think she can trigger Sky Destroyer too. Okay, cool. All right. Let's put one onto here. So this is at five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one onto here. Ouch. Unis is going to attack us. He's going to run right into our tough, so that's fine. So it's going to be two, three, four damage. Perfect. Into our tough. And then we're going to... Um, Infinite Soldier is stunned. And then um, I want to check something really fast with War Machine. I don't remember if they, they talked about. Um, I just did Gauntlet Gun. Okay. And then our bad card is going to be when revealed, discard upgrade you control. If you cannot discard, gain surge. So let's discard upgrade chassis. I don't think we need it. I don't think we'll need that. All right. So we're good there. Now it's our turn. Okay. Let's hang in there. Let's hang in there, right? What do we have? Five life left. All right. I want to dump all these cards to put each in 13. Oh, no. They're ready to support. Um, okay. I'm not sure if this timing works correctly. I think it might. So after Agent 13 attacks or thwarts, choose a shield. Okay, it does work the way I want. All right, so two, three, four, right? So a double and a bunch of cards to play Agent 13. Um, she comes in. We can use Sky Destroyer to take out Infinite Soldier. In doing so, he no longer has guards. So we don't have to worry about that. Um, and she comes in. Now, I'm going to have, what does he have? 14 life? Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, shoot. He's supposed to have a, a boost icon. I might not have done that last turn, but I don't think it made a difference because we had a tough. Okay. Full auto. We're going to generate both our resources. Um, so that pays for that, and we got to only use two ammo counters. Oh, no, no, no. Not before we do that. Sorry. Mockingbird is going to ping the tough off and get retaliated to death. Sad. Sad Mockingbird. 
Then we do full auto, deals eight damage to the enemy. Um, so that brings us down to six. Yeah, six. It brings him down to six. Okay, cool. Um, six. We don't have enough to knock him out, unfortunately. So what we'll do is we'll do surveillance team to remove one off of here, which deals one damage to each identity. Um, so we're down to four, unfortunately. This gets rid of this. Agent 13 is going to thwart two off the main. It readies up Sky Destroyer, but that's... Uh, no, no, actually, let's ready up Surveillance Team instead. And then we can use the last Surveillance Team to remove one more off of here. Knocks out Surveillance Team. Again, we ready that up with Agent 13. We'll use Missile Launcher to use one of our tokens. Does two damage. So Unis is down to four. Sorry, this should have came in with uh, backup counters. I haven't used it yet for what it's supposed to be used for. Let's actually use that for Agent 13 so that she never got um, consequential damage on. I'm going to deal two damage, one, two, and get retaliated for one, so I'm down to three. All right, and then we're going to ready up, and we're going to just have Agent 13 take a hit to the face and hope for the best, right? One, two, three, four, five. All right, so we have Doom Doom, Endurance, Field Agent, Government Liaison, and Homeland Intervention. So we have the win just by, like, us existing, um, but we'll we'll see. If we get stunned, it's going to throw things off, but we can still play Doom Doom. I, actually, I don't think we can. Well, we could do Sky Destroyer. We'll figure it out. All right, so one onto here. One onto here. This is up to so much right now. We're not even worried about it. Um, all right, Unis is going to attack, right? So he's naturally got two plus a boost icon, so he's doing three. Agent 13 is going to take this three, four, five damage. Luckily, it's not overkill or anything. It does knock out Agent 13 now, which I'm fine with. We don't we don't need her. Bad card is uh, discard upgrade you control. That's fine. We will get rid of Gauntlet Gun. We don't need it anymore. This game is basically done. So for the easy win, we just exhaust to win. Um, but if that's too simple for you, we can use Missile Launcher. Use our last one to deal two damage. So he's down to zero. We've officially won. Um, we could do Homeland Intervention. Exhaust Field Agent to... to Remove two threat from his scheme, let's just say. But in doing so, Sky Destroyer triggers, deals two more damage. We could also throw away uh, Field Agent and play Endurance to give us three more life in case we needed it. So that brought us up to six. And then we can't really do too much with those cards. And we can also exhaust for another two damage. Uh, it would retaliate us, bringing us down to five, which is okay. Um, don't have to worry about that too much. So anyway, uh, that was uh, that was pretty pretty scary there at the end, but was pretty solid overall, I think. All right, hopefully you enjoyed this video of this uh, Sunday morning coffee and games. I wanted to get a little bit back into doing it. I don't know how often we could do it, but hopefully you enjoy the more slowed down approach of playing the game. It's it's a definitely a fun way of doing it. Uh, it's pretty cool. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully there's not too many rules mistakes. If there was, make sure to put down in the comments with a timestamp so that people know. I, I think I play it mostly good. Uh, but I appreciate everyone being here. For all those that have hit the like button and subscribe, thank you so much for the support. It truly means a lot. Uh, we're over 6,000 subscribers, which is really cool. So thank you for the support. Thank you for watching these videos. I appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time.